I think that's what's, what's happening with some of the United States allies like Turkey um, and other regional players like that. Um, it seems that things are not, they're not as they appear on the surface. And, and so I, I guess, if, again, another, this is a broad question, but what is the trend here, at least in regards to the United States and, and, and the uh, Middle East region in particular? The trend is to completely ignore the United States, uh, completely disregard it, and not invited to meetings. Mm. Uh, that's really what's been happening. Um, there was recently uh, a meeting in Ankara in Turkey, attended by uh, Putin, Erdogan, and and Syria uh, and and uh, the Iranians, and uh, those three uh, are the key players in deciding Syria's future. Um, there was a, a parallel track um, that that involved the United States, but it went absolutely nowhere. Um, and and this plan is actually working really well. Um, uh, the Syrian government is regaining control of its territory, and uh, it just uh, uh, got rid of a, a major um, terrorist. Uh, enclave that was close to Damascus. This was the the greatest victory since uh, it regained Aleppo. Mm-hmm. Um, and and right now there's basically one cauldron where uh, all of the remaining terrorists are getting kettled, which is Idlib, which is basically get going to get mopped up by the Syrians and and the Turks. Uh, now the Turks got involved because the Americans. Uh, hatched this ridiculous plan to make use of the Kurds in order to uh, gain lots of territory, including uh, non-Kurdish territory in in uh, in uh, northern Syria, with the help of Americans. Mm-hmm. Um, and Turkey didn't like that because Turkey sees the Kurds as a you know a restive population that has to be suppressed, has to be kept kept under control both on the Turkish and the Syrian side of the border. Iran also has its own Kurdish population. Uh, the Kurds, uh, as does Iraq. Um, in Iraq, the, the, the Kurds recently tried to uh, hold some kind of uh, independence referendum, uh, which typically for Kurds didn't take into account the fact that uh, no independent Kurdistan in in northern Iraq is possible without consent from from Turkey and Turkey withheld its consent and the entire thing fell apart it just it's no longer mentioned but anyway the americans and some israelis thought that it was a really great idea to weaponize the kurds in northern iraq in order to get them to attack syria uh the turks really didn't like this plan for very obvious reasons and uh they are now very actively involved to the point of invading Syria in neutralizing this. So here we have two NATO allies, um, the Turkey being the second largest military after the United States in NATO, and they're at working at cross purposes um, and not really even talking that much. Um, so Turkey is in NATO in name only at this point. It is clearly allied with Russia and with Iran in tackling the Syrian issue. Um, and it's a complicated problem, but all of these sides managed to ha- find common ground and, and find common common interest and cause. Uh, Russia specifically is extremely interested in destroying uh, all of these terrorist enclaves before they encroach on Russia's borders. Uh, there, there were at one point hundreds of thousands of terrorists uh, armed and equipped by the United States on the territory of, of Syria, a lot of them coming from for, former Soviet republics in, in um, all the stands in, in Central Asia and in North Caucasus. Um, and um, and it, few people know this, but uh, Russian was the second most popular, most used language within ISIS after Arabic. Mm. So there were a lot of Arabs there yeah. from all over Europe, all over the place. Uh, but there was also uh, a lot of, uh, of, of Russians, 
not ethnic Russians, but various other ethnic groups from the Muslim parts. Mm -hmm. um, so the Russians were very interested in destroying them in Syria rather than in some former Soviet Republic or in Russia itself, and they've succeeded in doing it. They've, they've very successfully obliterated them to a point where there are very few of them left.